Hello everyone, this is Matt from MMODen.com, welcoming you to another episode of Inside the Den, a quick peek at a game's features and overall gameplay. Today Inside the Den, we take a look at Pandora Saga, a free-to-play 3D MMORPG with a fantasy tone, kind of a European style with a little bit of uh, steampunk to it. Um, it's brought to us by uh, the game's publisher is Atlas Online. Now, if you like what you see in this video and you want to learn more about Pandora Saga, you can check it out over at MMODen.com or you can click the link below. All right, here we go. So as you can see, I've already registered my account. We're going to go ahead and log in. I have created one character. There's only one server at this time. And one knock on uh, this game. This game was originally released in the East, and one knock was kind of you had these huge uh, realm versus realm battles, but uh, there weren't really a lot of players. So recently the game was uh, more widely released and um, you had a, a bigger player base, a little bit bigger player base right now. It's not huge as you can see, like I said, there's still uh, only one server, uh, but enough to where you can, uh, you can get a little bit more in these realm, realm v realm battles. You can see I created one character, kind of get around and, and tweak the settings and, and see things. So we're going to go through the character creation so you guys can see some of that stuff. So there's a few different races, uh, human, elf, uh, dwarf, uh, this Myrene, and Enkidu, and the Lapin. So I'll let you guys, as you go in here, you can read these different things. Um, we're going to go with something basic, just go with the human and we'll go with the human uh, female. There's not a, a lot of uh, options as far as uh, customization. Uh, it's kind of tough to see with that background being lit like that. But we'll just run through the face types real quick. As you can see, it's they're they're not there's not a lot and they're not numbered. So we'll go with a cool face type. And you can see there's a few different hairstyles. Why not a ponytail? And colors. We'll go with dark brown. Where's dark brown? There we go. Let's put the name in here. My usual. Oh, they cut it off, so that's what we'll go with. And as you can see, there's a few different uh, player types: warrior, basic, tank, fighter type, scout, kind of cross between a, a ranger and a, a thief. Acolyte is more of your priest or healer type, and the mage is your your uh, spellcaster. We'll go with we'll go with mage, and then you kind of have these uh, starting skill that you kind of want to use to your advantage. If you're going to be a warrior, you're going to be a a tank type. Then you want to uh, you want to kind of adjust to uh, to the type of player that you're gonna you want to be. So there's pharmaceutical. We're going to go with the pharmaceuticals. So later on, I can create some alchemic formulas. All right, so let's create, confirm. Now a couple of uh, of knocks on this game right away. Um, really basic, like you hear no background music. Well, unfortunately, the lowest option for background music was way too loud for you guys to even be able to hear me. So I had to essentially turn the music off. Once we get in, I'll turn it back on so you can see how loud it is. Um, it's fine when you're playing. But obviously, uh, for recording right now, that's not uh, not something that's that's going to be uh, I'm going to be able to leave on. I was able to leave like sound effects and any voiceovers and stuff like that. But uh, let's go ahead and show you guys that real quick. So where is it? Performance. There we go. Background music. So as you can see, like you get really low, and it's not really a sliding scale. It's 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 set at these points. So it's not it's not super loud, but there's no way that you guys would be able to hear me. The music's pretty cool. Kind of sets the tone for what's going on. Very uh, Sword Two or or uh, Sword of the New World type uh, music. But like I said, very difficult for me to record, and you guys would be able to hear me with that music up that loud. So we're going to go ahead and turn it back off. Now one thing that's very difficult is when you get started, it's kind of just every man for itself. It takes a second for everything to kick in and start 
kind of the the tutorial so to say so yeah let's listen to what you want to say yes please so he's going to kind of show me around the city um there's basically there's different roads you can see these dots right here so it's kind of each section is instant instanced out <clears throat> so as you go into each section it'll it'll take a little bit of a load time <clears throat> Some of the quests are uh, very vague in their description, so you'll find yourself, you're really having to, to search for little clues as there's not a lot of text description in the quests. Um, these, are just, these are just a few of the knocks in the game. You'll also see there's some UI things, some pathing and stuff that I'll show you guys really shortly. All right, let's get through this. Yeah. So you can see all the different roads, different areas. <clears throat> If you get lost, look at the map, the mini map. All right, go exploring. So where's my quest log? That's right, it's under J. And unfortunately, we can't click on the so accept this, you know, head to the Confederation Road, accept the supplier Rones quest. So we can't click on that. So we want to look at our map real quick. We are in the Central Plaza. Oh no, no, we're actually up here. We're here. So. Here's a little blue flag you can barely see. Unfortunately, we can't click on it to head that way. So we're going to head down there to pick up the quest real quick. So like, as you can see, I'm going, to I'm going to click over here. And you'll see I'll probably get stuck in these pillars. Because the pathing of the, uh, the pathing is, see, there you go, I'm stuck. So, And sometimes clicking out of it is a little bit of a pain in the ass. But you can move around with W, A, S, and D. So there is, there is uh, that piece that you're not you're not always stuck. It's just when you want to travel long distances, there's no uh, kind of easy way to do that. Where a lot of games are moving now, uh, to where you can either click on the person's name or you can click on them on the map, and you can very easily move uh, in that direction. All right, we got a loaf of bread. I believe that she wants us to take that. Doo -doo -doo. But I asked her, ask the guard. So, I mean, at least there is these uh, blue flags telling you where to go. So we're going to try and get through this as quickly as we can so we can get out and show you guys some of the fighting. Let's show you guys the... So see, actually attacks. It doesn't bring up the character sheet. It always bothers me when games migrate really far from the norm as far as the uh, the UI is concerned. You know, it's very easily they could very easily keep the normal controls that everybody is used to but you know so many times we're like well we don't want to be like this game or that game so we're gonna we're gonna change things up and I think all it does is hurt them but that's just my personal opinion. Alright so 10 heat, the heating pads and we actually need to go, I believe, over to Royal Street. Let's see. Yeah, Royal Street. So we're going to head this way. So as you'll see, I'll, I'll click out here in the middle of nowhere. It kind of stops right there because we are going to instance over. Now this game has uh, an interesting skill set. So you've got your, your different skills. Here's all melee, finesse, special magic, uh, prayer. Um, but as you, where is it? Let's bring it up real quick. Rest. No, we want to bring up our character sheet. That's right. Why? So you see as you have your abilities, now we're more going to go for magic because we are a mage. And as you gain levels, you're going to get these ability points. Oh, we're hitting a little bit of lag there. I'm going to just be fraps. So then you can individually increase the type of magic that you want, and it also increases as you um, as you use these skills. So it's a, it's kind of a a, a, a pseudo uh, or a, a hybrid system as far as using the skills. And uh, so there we go. So you see, we leveled up. We got the ability points. So we're going to level up elemental. So confirm. Yes, confirm, parameters, and then you also get uh, status points, they call them, to add to your attributes. So 
usually with magic intelligence drives that so let's confirm and drive that up do me a favor head to pen and weaponsmith blah 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 imperial way all right so imperial way is over here so we need to head to the south <clears throat> but like i was saying is is you've got that hybrid kind of skill set along with your uh your status updates so every time you level you're able to to bump up those a little bit as you can see the games the game graphically is is actually really nice they spent a lot of time and, and put a lot of effort into that um, but you know that that can only get you so far after a while you know a lot of people turn the graphics down or they <clears throat> to uh, to accommodate just for for faster gameplay so if you don't have some level of substance and some of the some of the UI things like I said they they kind of bug me a little bit so this is probably not a game that I would play on a regular basis um, just because like I said I, I like very smooth uh, gameplay and, and some of the, some of the other games that have come out recently have a lot of uh, really easy features um, it does have um, a basic merchant system where you can you see this guy has some items above his head so you can click on him and, and buy items so it's not an auction house it's uh, it's it's a merchant a player merchant type system let's get through this all right actually let's let's try to get outside where are we so we're here let's head outside and go kill some stuff so you guys can see a little bit of the combat before I run out of time But as you can see, there there are players running around. So as far as the uh, um, so like I so as far as the player base, it has it has increased uh, over the past when that was a complaint. Oh, that's another thing. So if you get stuck, like I got stuck on that bench right there, I couldn't even jump over it. There is no jump option. So all right, yep. I right. heed your warning. Thank you. But it's not the traditional, you know, orcs, elves, uh, humans type uh, character races. You do have some different options. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, there are those options. You can kind of uh, mess around and play with that. As you can see, the, the game graphically, like I said, is, is really done, done well. Now let's get out here and start fighting a little bit. Maybe. There we go. Seemed to lock up there for a second. So we're going to take on some some ugly little maggots. So I haven't... Let's see. Where, where do we have skills? Nah, just press case. So magical skills. So let's, uh, let's grab that. Yeah, we don't need speed with. Let's see how the casting fireball or what is it, fire bolt, work. Oh, one shotted. That never hurts. Uh, launch massive ice. Let's. Oh, I don't have the prerequisite for that yet, so I can only can only do fire bolts. So we leveled up again. <coughs> Seems to be a little bit of lag, probably because of fraps. So let's go over here. Elemental, we've got to get to a skill of eight to be able to use that other skill. As confirm. Let's upgrade that. Let's see if we can go find some more and take them out. There we go. These are respawn. That's actually to go. Get the treasure, we don't care about that right now. So as you can see, uh, as I'm casting these spells right here down in the bottom left, elemental skill has level has increased by 0.2. So it's slow going, but we'll eventually get there. Let's take out this zombie. Or let's hopefully take out this zombie. Let's go beat him up a little bit. That, well, my spells on cooldown. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm just about out of time. I hope you enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And if you want to play or learn more about Pandora Saga, you can read our full review on MMODen.com or click the link below. Till next time, thanks for watching.